Yes, guys, Coach Sam here. Hope you've all had a fantastic weekend. Uh, brand new phase starting tomorrow uh, in the gym for our small group PT. Uh, just as normal, it's going to be a three-week phase, but we've just come off the back of, um, of triceps, which was super tough. Uh, I know a lot of you struggled with the, um, the volume, but that's absolutely fine. Uh, it was 49 reps per round. We did five rounds for, uh, for legs the quad on the quad day and the posterior chain day, which was a lot of reps. I think it worked out... Um, it was about 244 reps in total on the on the squat workouts. So yeah, obviously it's a lot of volume, and it's not a the type of workout where you're going to be setting um, PBs in terms of the weight uh, on the bar, and that's absolutely fine. It was a, a volume phase, and you all had a massive spike in volume on the last um, on the last program. All those reps, so you know, you, there's been lots of uh, physiological adaptations that should have occurred on the last phase um your work capacity in your in those working muscles should should definitely improve because you're doing three exercises per body part in a row uh for multiple sets so you should have um you know you should find now that your body's ability to fight and tolerate lactic acid in those muscles has, has, has definitely improved and um, and i'll stand you in good stead now not just for this phase that's approaching but future phases um as well another physiological adaptation is that the mitochondria now all those um those energy producing warehouses in your cells uh, all the mitochondria in the muscles that have just that performed those triceps they're going to be much 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 more efficient uh, and not just produ at, at producing energy but like i said also combating those hydrogen ions that build up in the muscles okay uh, that can form lactate and that obviously forms lactic acid which is the burning sensation so yeah you you all did well in the last program it was tough i know a lot of you was very sore but it's time now for a change but based on um how much volume we did the, in the last program is very important now we get back to lifting heavier weights because what, what you'll find is three weeks without lifting heavy weights is fine you'll still maintain a lot of strength in the previous program but if you start getting away from lifting heavy weights for more than three weeks what you'll find is you have a detraining effect your nervous system isn't um won't be as, as efficient and you're going to find lifting heavier weights uh, very neurologically challenging they'll just feel super heavy because you've been doing volume for such a long time okay so that's why we flip back and forth with the three week phases and it works unbelievably well okay so uh the next phase now uh, as normal guys uh we've got our two uppers and two low body days we did um slightly change things in the last probably we're still two uppers and two lowers we had more of a quad dominant day and more of a posterior dominant day and we had a chest and back day with more of a shoulders and arms day but now we're back to our normal traditional split of two uppers and two lowers so um let's look at upper body one which is tomorrow's workout okay so uh all we have guys to start is five to six on bench press and chin-ups and what i'm going to do before i do this i'm going to actually tell you how we're going to load up um the a series exercises okay so uh, if you've got any questions as, as we go through feel free to ask um but we're going to change the way we, we load up okay in our in our a series okay just slightly so the aim guys we've got five to six all right the aim is to build in the first three sets so for example in the example i've given you uh, 55 for six, you might go a little bit heavy for set two, 57.5 for six. The goal is to get the heaviest set of six for the third set. Okay, so you know, you, we're doing five sets of six, but by the third set, I want you to reach your six RM for the day. Okay, so you're going to reach that six RM by the third set. Now, what that's going to mean is, guys, you still have two more sets of six to do after that, uh, after that third set. But because you've just done a six rep max, depending on how strong you are, all right, how um, neurologically efficient you are, you're, you're then going to try and do another six reps with a six RM, which is going to be very challenging, especially if you're strong. If you just hit a six RM, it's going to be very difficult three minutes later to do another six RM. But you are going to do six reps, even you have to, if you have to cluster or rest pause the set. So for me, I, I've done this um, set that myself. Uh, what would happen with me is I might do 95 kilos for six, 97.5 for six, 100 for six, just get a six because it is a six rep max. Then the next set, then I'll stay on 100, but I might do four plus two. All right. And I, I, I might take a 20 second rest to so do four reps, take 20 seconds, then do my other two. All right. And on the last set, it might be a three plus two plus one. So you're always going to do six reps on the, um, on the A series. We're going to work up to that heavier set of six of the day by the third set. So you might need to have slightly more warm up sets than normal. So please try to arrive early for this workout if you can. If, the, if there's bars free, get on the bar, start warming up, work up to that six rep max, uh, or at least uh, get a heavy weight in there for, for set one. And like I said, you want to hit that six rep max by the third set. And then you're going to just try your best to hang on for set four and five. Uh, this means now we're going to be doing more repetitions, more sets, 
um, closer to, to failure, basically. Okay, and the research is quite clear. The more sets you go closer to failure, the bigger um, muscle building response you're going to give the body. If you keep doing sets that, you know, leave in six, seven, eight reps in reserve, they're not going to do anything in terms of um, giving that stimulus to your body to lay down new grounded muscle tissue. Okay, so it's very important we are starting to take sets now close to failure uh, and even beyond failure. All right, especially after the last phase where we were doing a lot of volume, we want to reach failure now with heavier loads. Okay, so that's how it's going to work. So uh, going back to everybody, one, we've got our uh, bench press and chin ups. Okay, so you're going to work up to that heavier set of six by the third set. Try and hang on for set four or five, but make sure you get the six reps on set four, uh, five and six. Oh, sorry, on set four and five, even if you have to rest, pause, or um, cluster it. Okay, so there's lots of notes in here. The goal of this phase is hypertrophy, so every set should be challenging. Build your six RM in the first three sets, and then use the same load for the final two sets, and make sure you get six reps total by performing a rest, pause, or cluster set. So the the instructions there couldn't be clearer now we're only going to do this method where you build into the heaviest set of six for our advanced members so uh, the coaches have had a debrief if you've been a member of sos for less than a year all right you've got less than a year of um of of ex you know less than a year's experience of training with us then you can just build as normal six 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 and build up to that heaviest set of six on the last set uh, technique is still the most important thing technique is paramount and if you haven't um you know got the experience of lifting and uh Lifting to, to failure, uh, we're just going to build you up. So listen to the coaches. They're going to tell you exactly what to do based on um, on the input I've given them, okay, based on your, your, your training experience with SOS. Uh, and the the B the A2 then is a superset method. We've got chin-ups as well. Exactly the same method. We're going to build that heavier set of six for the third set. If you're advanced, and then try and hang on for the last two sets. If you're a newer member, we're just going to build you over those five sets up to a heavy set for the final set. Okay, so that's that um then the b series then okay uh the notes guys is only three sets of ten but look at the notes take every set to concentric failure no reps in reserve so if you ask the coaches uh this week how many reps on the b series they're going to tell you ideally you're going to fail on 10 reps but if you don't fail on 10 keep going okay we want to reach concentric failure on every single set of the b series okay and you're going to do uh dumbbell supported um head supported dumbbell rows all right so it's a nice dumbbell row variation it's quite challenging it's hard but you're gonna uh not be able to cheat on there and again we're going to technical failure uh then the c series we have tricep press down to 20 reps using the band all right your triceps should be pretty smoked after um the bench press and the um the shoulder press both are very um challenging pressing exercises and doing the three sets of shoulders to failure uh, or to concentric failure for all three sets. Plus, you've got um, you're working to a very heavy load in the third set and have two uh, sets after on the bench press. Your triceps are going to be very fatigued. So, three sets of press downs should be enough just to finish off the um, the triceps. So a nice isolation exercise there. And then we've got a mechanical drop set on bicep curls. So, supinated curls, um, take every set of technical failure, no reps in reserve. And then immediately, immediately move to neutral grip, which is an easier grip, and then go to failure again. You won't be getting many more with a neutral grip, maybe three, four, five reps. But, um, yeah, that's going to be tough for the, um, the biceps. Okay, so the uh, arm day um, is the C-series. Arms are the accessory exercises on, um, on Monday's workout. Okay, and then let's look at upper body two. So we've got shoulder press again. This was the A-series in... The last phase, we have triceps, 10 reps, but now we're just going to be doing six. Okay, so that's there. Uh, five to six, again, exactly the same principle as the bench press. Uh, build it to a heavy, very heavy weight for the third set. If you're experienced, then trying to hang on. And we've got a different grip on chin-ups. B series, then we've got flat dumbbell press and cable rows, medium grip. Again, same principles apply. Take every set of concentric failure. No reps in reserve. Stick into that three zero one zero tempo. Okay, this is going to be a cable row. Just change this here for you. Um, and then C series then, we're, we're in a hypertrophy block. This is a 12 week hypertrophy block. So we're getting away from um, trap three, external rotators, all that shoulder health stuff. We're giving it a little miss for the next 12 weeks. We've done a lot of it over the last few uh, months since we've been back open. So your shoulders should be feeling fine anyway. But we're gonna do Arnold presses and super band upright rows. So, you know, two Really great exercise for the shoulders to get a bit more shoulder-based um, muscle mass if we can and hypertrophy. And again, go to concentric failure in every set. Uh, and on the upright row, we want a two-second squeeze at the top. 
with a row on every rep. Sh shoulder should be toast after the C-series. So, yeah, you can see the um, a lot of shoulder work in there. Okay, and then uh, let's look at upper body. Uh, sorry, lower body. Um, same thing. In terms of the way we're setting up, you're going to try and build up to that heavy set of six. Now, uh, this is a 10 degree heels elevation safety bar squat. So we only want a small heel wedge. We do want to be getting a bit of glute max and glute medius in this squat. We don't want to be all quads. Okay, so elevate your heels slightly. All right, but we're going to use a, um, a specialty bar. So uh, more advanced trainees can use the cambered bar. Okay, the coaches have had the debrief with this in terms of who should use the cambered bar. The cambered bar is a little bit more unstable. It's a great, um, it's a great barbell. It's going to work a lot more um, of the of the core stabilizers and the internal external obliques. All right, the bar uh, is is bent and the, the weights move a lot more, so it's going to put a lot more um, pressure on your core muscles. Okay, but it's a great exercise. It's a little bit more advanced, so we'll be using that with uh, with certain members. Everyone else can use the cyclist squat bars. All right, and again, we're building into a heavy set of six by the third set uh, if you're quite experienced and, and done a lot of this uh, exercise, these exercises before, and then you're just going to try and hang on. Then the um, the B series, these are just A and B. They could just standalones. So it's quite a simple program, guys, especially after the last one. There was a, quite a lot going on. Uh, we've got a Bulgarian split squat, okay, but we've got um, a statodynamic method. So basically what's going to happen is going to be a three-second pause on the eccentric for every rep. So you've only got six reps each leg. But we're going to go down. Yeah. You're going to keep your chest up. One dumbbell in your arm. Good. Down we go. Hold. Three, two, one, and that. Good. Down we go. Hold. Three, two, one. Finish the rep. That's it. Down. Three, two, one. Okay. So you can see the um, it's a three second pause at the bottom. And then the C series then. Uh, depends on uh, on who's coaching, what the coach recommends. We've got leg press, basically just a machine-based quad exercise. It could be leg press, it could be hack squat, it could be pendulum. It doesn't matter. Either of these machines could fit in here perfectly. All right, we just want to be locked in so there's no pressure on your back, especially after doing these two exercises that, that are going to involve quite a lot of core strength. Uh, we want to get you locked in. And if it's leg press, we'll do 30 because it's quite a ballistic and dynamic machine. If it's hack squat, pendulum, we'll do sets of 12. We got four sets, guys. I'm going to superset that with knee flexion on the TRX. So we don't often do four sets on the C series, um, but we are for this phase. We want to get you locked into a machine. We want to push volume now where you're safe and where you can really get a lot of work into those um, into those muscles in a safe environment. Okay, you get a lot more neurological drive or neural drive to the muscle when your back supported and you're locked in. That's why we're going to be using the leg press, the hack squat, or the pendulum for the C series. Okay. So that's lower body one. Let's look at lower body two. Okay, we've got deadlifts. Okay, so uh, if you're new to the gym, uh, we can get you doing hex bar here. That's absolutely fine. If you are able to deadlift heavy with good form, then we recommend doing that because the deadlift is probably the one exercise that's going to lead to the most um, muscle muscles being re recruited. Everything from the forearms to the, um, the hamstrings, the glutes, the lower back, even the upper traps, the mid-back, get a big workout with a deadlift. So you got your five to the six on there. Then the, um, the B series, we've got either landmine squat, hack squat, pendulum squat, and we're going to do the statodynamic method. So basically what we did on the Bulgarian squats on lower body one, we're going to be doing on the pendulum squat on lower body two. So it's down, and it's a three-second eccentric down, 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 down we go. We're going to uh, hold three, three two, two, one, one. Nice. Okay. nice. Down halfway, three second hold, all the way down and back up. And you've got five sets of 10, guys. Okay. So this is going to be quite brutal. Uh, it's a long range of motion with a squat, whether you use the landmine hack squat, uh, the normal hack squat, or the pendulum squat. It's, you know, it's a long way down. It's a big range of motion. So you're going to be recruiting a lot, a lot of muscle fibers. And we have that three second pause, which is going to suck ass. Okay. But you've got to get it done. All right. And then the C series. We got walking lunges, 12 each leg. So we did lunges in this phase, alternating. This phase, we got 12 reps each leg. Um, forces of 12 each leg. Don't waste any sets on just body weight. If you have the strength to use load, use load. Start heavy and go lighter as the sets progress and not the other way around. We want these muscles to be maximally fatigued after the initial set. So it's hypertrophy, guys. You want to fatigue as many muscles as possible, as fast as possible, and just try and hang on in there for the rest of the, um, the sets. Okay, and then we've got leg curls again. So what you'll notice, guys, with this phase is we're doing leg curls twice a week, once for the TRX, once for the stability, with the stability ball. Um, we have three variations of squats. We've got the, um, the, the, the specialty bar squat with heels elevated. 
She's going to get a lot of glutes. All right, we've got um, the single leg Bulgarian split squat, which is going to give you a lot more neural drive to each leg because it's um, a single leg exercise. All right, it's going to really fry your, your glutes as well with the, the fact that you've got to stabilize, especially as you're going down and hold it for three seconds. And we've got the pendulum squat uh, in here or another long range squat, which could be a hack squat or the landmine hack squat. So there's lots of squats in this program, just like the last program, but they're not done in a tricep. Okay, they're done over the course of the week. We've got uh, two squat variations on one work workout and then another squat variation on the other. So we're still working the quads with a lot of volume, but we're spreading that volume across the week. Okay, so you should be able to maintain higher loads and higher intensities. Okay, so yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing some um, good progress on this phase. The conditioning, guys, is you're in for a real treat. Okay, we actually did this conditioning workout uh, as a paid feature class before COVID. All right, for those of you that remember, I know Nicola Campbell couldn't move her arms for four days after this workout. It's the um, 300 Spartan workout. Okay, so what's going to happen? All right, Oop. it's one set. Okay, so it's one set of a workout. Okay, you've got to do 25 pull ups, 50 trap bar deadlifts, 50 press ups, 50 box jumps, uh, barbell windshield wipers for 50, dumbbell single arm clean and press for 50, and then 25 pull ups. Okay, it's the original 300 workout SOS style. I just made sure we're doing trap bar deadlifts instead of normal deadlifts because we got normal deadlifts in the normal program. Um, and the trap bar is a little bit safer, especially when you're doing really, really high reps. Uh, the weights are in here for 65 kilos for guys, 45 kilos for females. All right, and there's some uh, targets in here as well for the weights to use on the clean and press uh, or, the, or the kettlebell if you're going to use that. Okay, and there's um, different heights as well for the boxes. All right, but there's also some forfeits as well. If you go too light, you've got to do more reps. What I've done is I've given you different options. Uh, there's a um, original option, and then we also have a uh, intermediate option, and you can choose which one you do, okay? So if you can't do chin-ups, you can do TRX rows, for example. That's all in there. We've also got a little warm-up in there as well, which lasts uh, 12 minutes to get you... Because um, this work is quite short. It'll be about 30 minutes. Um, if, you, if you use heavy loads, it's about 25 to 30 minutes. And with the warm up, then, which is um, a 12 minute EMOM every minute on the minute, you've got different exercises to do. This should take us to around 40 or 45 minutes, which is enough when you're working this hard. All right, the times will go on the board as normal, and we can see how much we progress over the next three weeks. Okay, so yeah, guys, that is the phase. Like I said, it's a tough one, uh, tough in a different way, heavier loads, uh, weights are going to try and really stop you from lifting them basically especially working that six around by the third set but uh, i'm looking forward to seeing some positive adaptations from this one all right if anyone's got any questions feel free to ask or comment on the um, on the post and if not we'll see you in the gym tomorrow enjoy the rest of you again guys speak soon